Welcome to our Grand Sumo Highlights for Day 8 of the September Tournament, Nakabe in Japanese. And do we have an interesting leaderboard? With Mr. Popularity, Endo just won off the pace. Another one-loss Rikshi is Okunumi, having the tournament of a lifetime. Haramafuji, the Yokozuna, has one loss as well. But they're all chasing Ozeki. Goedo. Perfect. After seven days in a standout tournament. The crowd is in for another full house. Set back and ready to watch the day eight action from the Kokukika. First up, it's Chiyo Shoma and Gagamaru, a pair of Maegashita 12s. And they're meeting for the first time. Gagamaru has a record of three and four. Chiyo Shoma, a mirror record, four and three. Chiyoshoma wants the Mawashi. Gagamaru wants to keep him away. Chiyoshoma comes in quickly, but he's taken back. Chiyoshoma, Gagamaru gets a chance to push him out, but taken off balance and an under shoulder swing down. Victory for Chiyoshoma. Kataskashi. And a very disappointed Gagamaru. Taken out of his comfort zone and taken out of balance as he tumbles to the clay for another loss. Chiyo Shoma up to five and three and is having a very good tournament. First time in this division. Chiyo Shoma comes up and fends off Gagamaru, then pulls the big man in. That's dangerous. In the past, Gagamaru could probably force out a lighter opponent, but escaping and getting to the left and getting under the shoulder and swinging him down, using the weight against him, in fact. And to his own advantage, Chiyo Shoma, much lighter Rikshi, but Gagamaru couldn't weather the storm at the edge and has swung down for a loss and a victory to Chiyoshoma. Now it's Ikioi and Endo. Endo, one of the one-loss Richie. Ikioi with a two-loss score at the moment. Five wins. Ikioi has never lost to Endo in six previous. But Endo is looking the goods this time. His sumo has been all quality. Can he do something he's not done before? Beat Ikioi. Ikioi hits hard, comes in low. Endo gets the left hand in, but nothing with the right. Blocked off, but he quickly swings Endo. Endo goes beautifully forward, and Ikioi across the dojo. Let's hope Ikioi is okay, appears to be. Classic move here by Endo. Wins by Yori Taoshi, a frontal crush out. The placement of the hands was perfect by Endo and remains with the one loss. Ikioi departs the scene. Fortunately not injured. Good shoulder charge by both. Endo gets the left hand in quickly. Can't get anything done with the right. But from this point on, he quickly gets the right. Then he takes Ikioi across the dojo with that pulling action and pulls him straight to the dojo. A frontal crush out victory by Endo. He's fighting at Magashita 14, and taking on a much lower ranked opponent today. But like most days during this tournament, Endo is displaying his best sumo. And he maintains the one loss record with a solid victory. Kota Yuki and Chionokuni. Kota Yuki and Chionokuni meeting for the first time. They're both pusher thrusters. Kota Yuki, a Maegashira 8. Chionokuni, a Maegashira 6. A 5 and 2 record for Kota Yuki. Chionokuni, 4 and 3. This should have a bit of spirit to it. Both men like to thrust hard and fast. Straight on is Chio Kuni, but Kota Yuki's not there anymore. Kota Yuki jumps to the side and 
Nothing illegal about it, but as you can tell by the reaction of the fans, not too impressed by Kotoyuki not taking the charge of Chiyonokuni. A strange decision for a man he's meeting for the first time. A slapdown victory, Hataki Komi in the face or expression of Chiyonokuni. Well, that says it all. Jumping to the side, Chiyonokuni's opponent is not there anymore. And down he goes. Not a lot involved with Kotoyuki slapping on the shoulder of Chiyonokuni. It was enough for a victory, but you'd have to say a pretty cheap win. Now it's Arawashi and Aoyama meeting for the first time. Arawashi, one of the lightest men in the top division, taking on one of the heaviest. He's three and four. Aoyama, four and three. Very strong upper body and some dynamic pushing attack that he can bring to about. He starts out with that thrusting attack as Aoyama. And Arawashi stands there and takes it. And gets dumped outside the dojo for the Ski Taoshi victory for Aoyama. Aoyama. A frontal thrust down victory for Aoyama. Now, Arawashi had to expect this. He's much lighter. Instead of slipping to the side, he decides to stand there and take all the thrusts. Strange choice of tactic by Arawashi. The first time meeting against this big man, who is so strong, and displayed that today. It's time to have a look at Shodai and Shohoza. Shodai, yet to get a win. 0-7, the Maiga Shida 2. Shohozan, 4 and 3 at Maiga Shida 7. <laughs> Tries to get in lower, Shohozan gets an inside grip with the right and the left. Has Shodai high and going back and in trouble. He more marches forward and crunches him over the Tawada. The Gumbai pointed the way of Shohozan for the victory. But the judges are up. There's something that they've seen that they want to talk over here. Now the nod has been given to Shohozan, but look at the right foot of... And that's what they've judged. The foot's gone out before Shodai goes down. Interesting way to pick up your first win. Shohozan obviously not happy. Shodai the opposite as he gets win number one on day eight. Isamiyashi. A forward step out, which is actually a losing technique that's accredited to Shohozan. Not a winning technique to Shodai. Either way you look at it, Shodai gets the win and he gets his first win of the September tournament. Now we have Mitakeyumi and Okunoumi. Mitakeyumi, perhaps one of the future stars of sumo. Taking on this man who's having an incredible tournament with just the one loss. Losing to Goedo. Mitakeyumi, a 5 and 2 record and a first time meeting here as well. Mitakeyumi will try and get inside. He tries to lock up the arms of Okunumi. Okunumi has his favorite left hand inside, but is bustled back by Mitakeumi. Remaining calm, Okunumi has the left hand in. He wants the right hand outside, trying to get the left grip on the Mawashi. Now marches forward and controls it to the edge and wins. Calm, calculated sumo by Okunumi to get his seventh win. Mitakeumi, his third loss. We are seeing the best of this man this tournament. He already has that incredible record of beating the top rankers in the first week. And wins by force out 
Yutakeyumi locked up the arm, but it didn't do much damage. He tried to go outside to in successfully. That got the left hand in. Mitakeyumi drives forward, but circling back and circling away the veteran Okunumi. He has Mitakeyumi high and awkward in this position, almost a one-armed bonsai. And now he gets into a good position. Left arm solid, right hand on the Mawashi, and wins by Yuri Kiri. So he keeps that one loss. Came in the day with one loss, maintains it as he moves to seven and one, winning by force out. Now Takara Fuji and Takayasu, a battle of the Shin Sekiwake. Both newcomers to this rank. Takara Fuji at three and four. Takayasu, five and two. They've met 12 times before. Takayasu's won eight of them. Takayasu comes in under the armpits. Hazuoshi tries to force up Takada Fuji. Now a throat attack with some thrust. Gets the outside grip and pulls the throw. Well, Watanage, the overarm throw for Takayasu. Shake of the head, not quite sure why. He seemed to be in control from start to finish. Handing Takara Fuji his fifth loss. Takayasu picks up his sixth win. The overarm throw victory there for Takayasu. This time he starts out pushing, goes for an outside grip, can't get it with the left, then changes his attack. In fact, a few times during this bout, he tried different things and Takara Fuji was offering very little. Finally gets the outside grip and pulls the throw for the win. Yoshikaze and Goedo. Three and four Yoshikaze, Goedo the perfect 7-0 start. If Goedo can win here, he'll equal his personal best start. But in actual fact, that personal best included a Facencho, a freebie. So if he wins today, he would have won them all on the clay, but he takes on a man he doesn't have a strong record against. Yoshikaze's 1-9, Goedo's 1-7. Looking like a prize fighter after 10 rounds is Yoshikaze. Tends to lead with his head just a little too much these days, and it's paying the price. Goedo gets some thrust from Yoshikaze, who tries to get inside. He's a little high, is Yoshikaze. And as a result, that's a comfortable win for the Ozeki to go to 8-0. maintains his top position on the leaderboard and his best performance since 2012 November his best start as an Ozeki undoubtedly and his best sumo as an Ozeki Yoshikaze tries those thrusts missed with a couple which meant he became high from the left and Goedo showing the good sumo that he's displayed in this tournament, quickly gets inside, right hand and left hand out. Despite the initial pummeling he gets from Yoshikaze, he's able to weather that, work through the punishment from Yoshikaze to get that solid inside grip and left hand out, and wins by bread and butter sumo, a Yorikiri, a force out for the Ozeki. Terano Fuji, the Ozeki, four and three, taking on the Komasubi Tokyo's on two and five. Terano Fuji has been a little careless at times in this tournament. Yesterday, beaten by someone for the first time, these two have met ten times. Terano Fuji's won six. Terano Fuji comes in quickly today, tries to muscle into Tochiozan, who keeps him away. Tries him. Inside grip, Tochiozan, on both hands inside. Morozashi, double-handed inside grip, shaken off by Terano Fuji, who doesn't look in control. Tochiozan keeps him away, almost slaps him down, gets him to the edge, forces him to the Tawada. Terano Fuji tries to rally, but goes down. A twist-down victory for Tochiozan. Terano Fuji never looking in control, perhaps trying a bit too hard today.
The good win for Tortios on to pull him up to three and five. Beating the Ozeki today. He beat a Yokozuna on the first day. Kakiryu. And see today, Tenno Fuji trying all sorts of things, but never in control. Tochi Ozan concentrating on A, getting that inside, double inside grip, and B, keeping Tenno Fuji off his Mawashi. Retreats on two occasions. That gets a deep grip. Kind of a fruitless headlock attempt there by Tenno Fuji to the edge. Almost pushes him over, then twists him down. Maki Otoshi is the Kimarite, the winning technique. Disappointing Terano Fuji. Miyogiru, two and five, the Maiga shooter four. It takes on the Ozeki Kisano Sato, five and two. He's numerically in the Usho race. Two losses with plenty of time left. Miyogiru went close to beating him in the last tournament. Crowd are getting behind Kisano Sato as they have each and every day. Kisano Sato starts well. A good charge by Miyogiru. Tries to lock up the Ozeki. Taken to the edge. Almost pushed down. Almost pushed out. And then gets slapped down. Good win for Kisano Sato. Looked in control the whole way. Oshi Taoshi. The frontal pushdown victory for the Ozeki Kisano Sato to stay with two losses. Came in well, Miyogiru, got the left hand inside, but it was clamped from the left. And once the Ozeki got his left going, he had a, an attack to the throat and got Miyogiru off balance. Miyogiru tries to circle away, tries to counter everything that the Ozeki's offering. He pushes, and the push results in Miyogiru losing, losing his footage. And down he goes. Not pure sumo by Kisano Sato, but he stayed controlled. He didn't get flustered by anything Miyogiru tried to offer up by escaping. Quite often in this position here is when Kisano Sato loses. He lunges forward, but not today. He's in control and wins. Another Ozeki, Koto Shogiku. Five and two takes on Komusubi Kaise. One and six. These two have met eight times. Kota Shogiku's won seven. Now the win that Kaise had over him was a Fasensho. In other words, Kota Shogiku didn't turn up. So he's never beaten Kota Shogiku head to head on the clay. Kota Shogiku steps to the side, took, uh, well, almost a shoulder brush from Kaise, but that was all sideways step movement from Kota Shogiku. Not something you normally see from an Ozeki. And certainly not from Kota Shogiku, a strange maneuver for someone that he's never had any trouble with before. He gets the win, not ideal in terms of the quality of the sumo, and wins by an overarm throw, or Watanage. Kaise, still with the one win, seven losses, and that's a disappointing way to go down. Now, Chiu Tori, the Magashira 4, takes on Harama Fuji, the Yokozuna, who's right in the Yusho race with just one loss. Harama Fuji, it's all about the speed with this man. He's met Chiu Otori twice before and beaten him both times. Might be fighting a bit out of his grade here, Chiu Otori, but he'll give it his all. Yokozuna comes in, hits him hard, starts his thrusting attack, gets a nice grip outside, takes him to the edge and pulls a throw. Yeah, all Harama Fuji today. Wins by Watsinage, the overarm throw. Shiotori with just the one win and seven losses. Mirror record for the Yokozuna, seven and one. He's got to be pretty happy with himself today, Harama Fuji. No trouble with a much bigger man, but uh, lacking in the skill department in terms of 
an opponent, Hanamafuji, is all class. He can win a variety of ways. He can win by thrusting as well. Chiotori's gone to the Mawashi more these days as he ages or as he gets bigger. And a win for the Yokozuna right in the Yusha race. Our final bout here on day eight of the September tournament. Kakadu, disappointing four and three. Takanoiwa three and four. Takanoiwa gets his chance to beat a Yokozuna. His first try, not successful against Haramafuji. Kakadu is not having a great tournament, so Takanoiwa does have an opportunity here. They're meeting for the first time. Takanoiwa fighting in the final battle of the day for the first time in his career. A bulk of heads, that's got to hurt. Takanoiwa charges forward, has the Yokozuna back, but the Yokozuna slips to the side. More skill there. Raw talent, Takanoiwa. The Yokozuna picks up his fifth win. The three losses after eight days, not a great score for a Yokozuna. But a win is a win for him. And Takanoiwa, three wins and five losses as he departs the scene. A slapdown victory for the Yokozuna. Now you see here, lunging forward, Takanoiwa. He must have thought, here's my chance to push out the Yokozuna. But the Yokozuna slips to the side and slaps him down. All about experience and under pressure. The Yokozuna mightn't be fighting at his best, but he certainly showed who's a Maegashira and who's a Yokozuna in this bout. Stepping to the side at the right time and slapping down for what became a relatively easy win in the end for Kakadu. And he hasn't had too many of this, those this tournament, with now a five and three record with still seven days of sumo to fight. He won't be happy, but he'll be relieved. He'll fight another day tomorrow. And after eight days, the leaderboard shows Ozeki Goedo, no losses, one loss, Haramafuji, Okonomi, and Endo. Tomorrow is a national holiday. Respect for the age day. And we close proceedings with the Yumitori bow twirling ceremonies. Tano Fuji showing his skill to wind up action on day eight of the September tournament. Join us for action tomorrow.